See where the trees need to be planted? I guess we're not done with our meeting quite yet. We're gonna hit up Pompano. Gotta end eventually, right? That's the exit. Gotta end eventually, right? We have to, oh my God, we added another 20 minutes to the trip. I got my trailer back from being towed. I was on the trailer, I almost flipped the bobcat. It's not, it's not gonna be good. This may be the delivery guy driver, or he may be trying to rob the truck. This is how you get into trouble. Because you spend casually this, and then you spend it again, and you spend it again, and then you're like, wait a second, but there was more money there. Let's go look at the cheap computers. I don't see what the cheap computers are. Bobcat. Bobcat. Yeah, that's a bobcat. I'm going to buy you. When I was talking about Bobcat, this is the Bobcat. This is the Bobcat. 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 He's the name. You want a Pompano? I'm going to go check up on the job, see where the trees need to be planted. I guess we're not done with our meeting quite yet. Get a Pompano. <laughs> we're gonna go to Pompano. We're gonna check up on that job, make sure everything's going well. We gotta see where the trees gotta be planted, because that just popped up on us. We're gonna go check up on another estimate. We're gonna start checking up on our other jobs. Hollywood, we gotta do the demo. Pembroke Pines, we gotta get the plans on site. For Lauderdale, we gotta make sure the dig's getting done and the dirt's getting off site. So let's get it done. We have to, oh my God, we added <laughs> another 20 minutes to the trip. Baseball coach used to always say, and for all the, any FIU baseball players that watch this, that no turtle Thomas, life on the road is a series of small adjustments. So here we are making small adjustments. Oh my God, we added <laughs> another 20 minutes to the trip. So we had a trailer here. The problems they don't tell you about, look, flat tire. Look, <laughs> take a look what's in there. Enough sand to lay a foundation for a house. It was accidentally overloaded. And if you see here on the floor, they like destroyed their neighbor's grass. You can even see over there. Don't try to fix that. It's always the smallest jobs that give you the biggest headaches. Main drain has a plug. Debris or whatever, they didn't let the plug seal correctly. So that water was coming in. So once we turned the water off and turned the equipment on, it kept filling up. Filling up, I shut the up. So we're like, what's going on? 
So we drained everything and then took the, the little plug. Yo. Nick, what's up, bro? Hey, uh, that pool's leaking again. Are you able to head there now or, or like today or no? I'm gonna try. I just got a little bit tied up yesterday. I really find it really weird because I pressure tested all the lines and the lines are good. So it has to be something structural. Okay. But I'll figure it out, don't worry. Thank you, bro. Something structural. What does that even mean? got my trailer back from being towed. One of my guys took it to the storage unit the other day, which I'm glad he did. He told me after the fact that he didn't feel very comfortable backing it in. So he parked it next to the storage unit. When I had the conversation with him about where the trailer was, he mentioned that it, it was quite the funny story and that, that it had gotten towed. So we finally got it back. Make sure that it doesn't get towed again. Got that thing locked down, boy. <laughs> Right now we're excavating. So this pool is gonna be 12 feet, 40 feet long with a little waterfall there. Tons of fill, so we're trying to clear the land a little bit so we can get, you know, dig a little bit better. Uh, so we're doing the pool, the deck, yeah, all new fencing, all new landscaping, and then who knows after that. Flip the bucket. I was backing it up. It started tilting. You go like that, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it's not. It's not gonna be good." We made it. Everything's done. We'll go grab the permit, print it all out, and get it set up here. Our Fort Lauderdale project. We broke ground yesterday. As you can see, we've gotten some progress done. The boys are working hard. So we ran into a couple different issues. So the first was that we found a large two inch PVC pipe that was running through the area of where we were supposed to excavate. Uh, we did call 811, that wasn't marked off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pressure test that pipe to see what it goes to and then adjust from there. Also, if you see behind me, there's two trees that are gonna be growing over where the pool is gonna be. Now that can be an issue. All of that organic compounds and foliage can fall into the pool. It can fall onto the deck, creating stains. It can stain the plaster and it can throw off the water chemistry. All things that we don't want after we just build the pool. So what we can do is we can take out those trees. We can build a row, all new decorative palms that can all be symmetrical to look nice to make up for the ones that we're gonna take out. We're gonna satisfy the city requirement for their trees. Plus we're gonna give the customer privacy, plus the luxury new modern look that he's looking for. All done while we're building the pool. This may be the delivery guy driver, or he may be trying to rob the truck. We have the hardest working guys, I swear. Here at the Hollywood Projects, the boys have been working hard. All the landscaping cleared out. We have to still get the roots out. We're starting to work on the concrete demo, which you can see the boys doing. In a week and a half, you can see we've made some serious progress. The job's nice and clean. And we're just gonna keep rolling. Dude, I put 20 bucks of gas. It did not touch my tank. 
I was at a quarter tank and I literally put 20 bucks. The prices are crazy, man. I used to play for the Astros in the minor league system. All the international players that came in who didn't really know English were set up to basically to help these guys excel, especially coming into a new country. We have also guys that come internationally. One of our supervisors, Danilo, brought up to me that he really, really wanted to learn how to speak English. So we're gonna kind of pull from the book of the Houston Astros here a little bit, get them Rosetta Stone, help them learn. And um, so let's let's walk in there, let's get it. Let's see what we got. If it's online, how do I get them to be able to take it? On what mm. device? How do I solve the problem with them? They don't have a computer, yeah. Getting them a small computer? Does it say 129 bucks? Pencil. I guess it's not bad. 500 bucks? Say that way too casually. 500 bucks? Is 500. <laughs> this is how you get into trouble. Because you spend casually this and then you spend it again and you spend it again and then you're like wait a second but there was more money there let's go look at the cheap computers i don't see what the cheap computers are We went to Best Buy to go get Rosetta Stone and we ended up buying an iPad because we figured that that was going to be the best purchase, but such is life and such is business. So we are pretty much wrapping up today. Thank you for riding along with us today. Uh, we hope to see you next time and uh, stay tuned. This guy I've ever seen in my life. Looks like a dog, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> we have cheeky Bobcat. Ah, yeah. He's the name, he's in English. Do I buy a stump grinder? Wait, wh how'd you get to that question? You know how hard that is to get up here? What is that? I'm a big sky guy. <laughs> Huge sky guy. <laughs>